is Eric back a naturopath thank you for coming back what type of person gets autoimmune disease who gets it I mean is it just something that strikes you like a bolt of lightning out of the blue well not really I mean everything has a reason as you know there's causes for every single thing that occur in your life and including autoimmunity so there are probably four but maybe even a dozen categories that you know we could talk about but if you look at it uh, it's common for example it to be genetic link genetics are not that uncommon when you have a look at the you know at the pattern of conditions for example like multiple sclerosis so scientists are not sure whether it's a, it's a one gene or a combination of genes plus environmental factors that trigger the response of autoimmunity but I've got different theories on it as we'll hear when we uh, talk about the causes because I've got my own ideas on causes based on my experiences which are probably different from other people so exposure is another thing many people I've seen over the years with autoimmunity who you develop autoimmune disease were exposed to chemicals now these could be solvents they could be herbicides weedicides they could be uh, sprays they could be I've seen people in uh, in printing presses in old in old you know long time ago when they had printing machines develop autoimmunity. People playing on the golf course with lots of chemicals that were sprayed a lot around the green. I've seen some people like that develop, for example, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, people here in New Zealand do aerial top dressing, so they'll have superphosphate fertilizers in aircraft, and they'll drop that fertilizer onto you know fields, pastures for cows. I've seen those guys develop autoimmune disease. So there's no doubt, um, you know, people, uh, some people who are exposed to certain types of chemicals are certainly more prone to autoimmunity. And also bacterial and viral infections. Other people who get those can get shunted straight into autoimmunity. Uh, women of childbearing years seem to be commonly hit, as I mentioned previously in the previous video, but to age between 15 to about 45. So there's a much higher incidence of women contracting autoimmune disease at that time of their life, which shows you there's likely a hormonal component there as well. And of course, of course, ethnic groups. White people are more prone to type 1 diabetes. African Americans, for example, are more, more prone to uh, lupus, for example. So, and again, it makes me think, is it bacteria involved in here, favoring certain types of communities based on their diets? So yeah, we'll talk about that in causes. So there's lots of different types of people, you know, who can get autoimmune disease, but there are clearly defined patterns that lead down that path to develop, or what we call pathophysiology, develop that disease. There are sort of pathways that, that move down there. So yeah, we'll catch up in the next video. We're going to talk about why some people get autoimmune disease. We'll see you then.